Hey guys, Mary JM. So December 8th at 10.30 and I'm still shaking. So my last video I started shaking and now it's shaking in my legs. So if you guys could actually see it. So yeah. And again, all this is real. It's not fake. And that's why I'm showing it to you guys now. If you look at my hands, you could really see it. But I'm going to sit down now because I don't want to fall over. So again, um, I'm a miracle surviving triplet. There's a photo of my brother. And I've had this unknown chicken condition since I was 40. and now 43. And um, it's my whole body shaking, my arms and everything. And I've been to two doctors about it, internal medicine. I've also been to a neurologist, which I'm currently with. And I've been to two hospitals. I can't remember if I just said that. But I just wanted to, since I'm still shaking, I wanted to show it to you guys since I'm awake. Um, but sometimes, like I said, I can't follow through with videos and plans and go out and do things because when I'm shaking like this, I can't even lift a water, uh, glass of water for long because my glass is shaking. <laughs> so it's like hard to drink and I laugh because I'm nervous. So it's hard to, uh, to live like this, really. still shaking so again I've been to lots of neurologists and doctors and hospitals about this and they still don't know what it is they just say um, it's caused by my nervous system and so I can't really talk right now <laughs> either so for the first six months I did not get any medication whatsoever so it was very difficult to do anything as you can imagine and um, that's how I ended up in debt because I never asked for help when I needed it. So I hope if you guys are going through a similar situation where you have conditions and you need help, ask. Because you don't want to <laughs> live with debt forever, unfortunately. Um, so yeah, like my shoulders and everything are going up. And actually, I'll take off my sweater so you guys could see it better. So yeah, I'm just doing a, another video for like people, the new people who haven't seen this. But I do have a video under my playlist that's from like, for my unknown chicken condition from when it first started to the end. And like at the beginning, I looked, it, it was worse than this. It looked like I was possessed, literally. And this is why I'm a daily vlogger. And I just did the laundry, so I'm wearing a different shirt than I did my Freddy Krueger shirt. But <clears throat> now you can actually see on the shoulders how it's like constantly shaking like that. And none of this is fake. I mean, it's been already three minutes. It'd be like, <laughs> I'd have to be a really good actress to be able to fake, to fake it. But like I said, I've been to lots of doctors and um, it's just really... I just want to learn, I just want to live my life now. I'm tired of doctors, I'm tired of deaths, I'm tired of being a lab rat. And this is the, not the only problem that I have. Issue is what I call it. Um, I also have chronic fatigue syndrome. It looks like that I'm cold, but I'm not. I'm actually like sweating like crazy. So I have chronic fatigue syndrome. I'm partially deaf. I have partial dentures. Because the way that I was born, my teeth aren't fully developed. I was never fully developed. And so, in my last video, I was just talking about how I think it's because they say it's from the way that I was born. I was just thinking that I was sharing the room with two other of my brothers, which one was stillborn and one lived for three months without a heart, which is Joseph. 
and I had to share that space for three months <laughs> with, and then, well, however long that you're, I was in the room for, because I was three months premature, so I'm pretty bad at math. And then after that, I had to live in an incubator for almost six months, because I didn't have, I wasn't fully developed. So that's why I go, it's the way that I was born, like my legs are shaking right now, so if I stand, I'm going to fall over. And it's not Parkinson's, Parkinson's disease, but like I said, they know it's from my nervous system. And I think it's just because they're right that it's the way that I was born because I had to share the room and then I had to be, which is a small space. And then I had to be with, uh, in the incubator, which is also a small space. So there's my hand shaking again. So I think that's why since I turned 40, my body just can't handle it anymore. It's like, it's thinking that it's still in that small little space, if that makes any sense. So the medication I take for it, if it wasn't for the medication, there's no way I could do anything. So this is the medication that I take. And I take it every day. <laughs> I try to take a photo and I can't because I'm shaking like crazy. So, yeah, usually I just take um, this and I usually take it before I go to sleep. But since I'm shaking so much and I can't move without falling over, I'm shaking it now. But see, I can't even I can't even hold this <laughs> without shaking. So, if you only have one issue, be thankful. Like I said, I have more in the meat's eye, and that's why I never really used to talk about my issues, but now since I have so many, and it's kind of like interfering with my life, and it's struggling. That's why I talk about it all the time now, so this is what I take, and as soon as I take it, usually it goes away right away. So I know a lot of people don't like taking their medication, but if you're like me, and you're suffering, like I am right now, <laughs> because of the shaking. If I didn't take this medication, I can't. I can't even make it to my bed without falling over. So I have to take this medication. So if you're one of those people who doesn't want to take a medication because of side effects, don't think about the side effects. Think about the now. Can you really live with with the pain and condition that you're in right now? If you can, then fine, don't take your medication. But if you can't, take your medication. <laughs> because I, there's no way I could live without this medication. And so, I mean, there's a lot of side effects. Like I said, I don't want to date. I have no social, well, I have social life, but I have no dating life. I, I don't like being too close to people. I don't like being around people because of my condition and then because of the medication that I'm on. So. But at the same time, this medication puts me to sleep, so I could sleep a lot. So I'm pretty much going to go to bed once I take this medication. I mean, first I'm going to try to upload this video, and then... Because usually it stops right away. And then I could go for a smoke, and then eat my food, and then just go straight to bed, so... But yeah, if you have to take your medication, take your medication. There's so many people that keep telling me, oh, they don't want to take it because of the side effects. Does it really matter 10 years from now if you have all these issues? And do you want to be here 10 years from now if you have all these issues? <laughs> I mean, if I had to live with the shaking for 10 years with no medication, <clears throat> I would not want to be here. I know that's a hard thing to say and for people to hear, but I'm in a lot of pain mentally, physically, and financially because of all my conditions so like I said if I could not do anything and not take medication just because I'm worried about the side effects um I'm not willing to put myself in right now through this kind of pain more longer than it's been it's already been more than 20 minutes because I was recording I was shaking in the other video so that's how you guys should know that it's not fake that it's not fake but, 
yeah, just a lot of people keep telling me they don't want to take the medication. I'm like, do what's best for you. If you don't want to take the medication and you could deal with the pain, then fine. But if you can't, then take it. Just do what's best for you. Don't let anybody put you down from taking medication. Thankfully, mine's covered, but if it wasn't, it would be like 30 bucks. So yeah, I better take it now because I'm shaking like crazy. And then my head goes shakes too, so it's like so annoying. But I just think that, it, that I'm in the now, I'm like, I can't handle this pain anymore. I can't handle the shaking. I gotta take the medication. I mean, there's a lot of people that are on medication and the medication does nothing for them. So that's the other thing too. But if there's medication that helps, then take it. And then I just wait for it to uh, sink in kind of thing. But it looks like I'm cold, but I'm not. It's just, yeah, it's, it's crazy. But like I said, if you have to take your medication, take your medication. I mean, when they say side effects, most of the time it doesn't really affect you. You don't really get that side effect. And the funny thing is that I actually have high blood pressure, but this is, no, I actually have low blood pressure, but this is actually for high blood pressure, so, nah, I'm just waiting for it to sink in because my leg's shaking like crazy right now. Uh, so, when I tell you guys I'm too that I'm shaking too much and I can't film in my community post. This is what I'm literally going through. So this is for the new people. And for like the people who don't quite understand what I'm talking about, but yeah, like I said, um, the doctors can't figure out, figure out what's wrong, why I have it. So how can they figure out a cure for it? And like I said, there's people who have cancer and like other things and they still can't get better but they learn to live with it so that's what I'm trying to do I'm just trying to learn to live with it which is why I take my medication <laughs> sometimes it's good to breathe in and breathe out so yeah finally stop so this is why I take my medication because right just like a few minutes it finally stops shaking and none of this is real. None of this is real. None of this is fake. <laughs> it is real but none of it's fake. Like I said I have so many videos on it. So yeah but now it makes me tired so I better see finally stopped. So now I'm tired. <laughs> So I'm going to get into my other pajamas because they're more comfortable and they're more warm. And I'm going to call it night. Because I just took my medication so I'm probably going to be out in like 10, 20 minutes. <laughs> Maybe a half hour, we'll see. But I mean, I'm still shaking a bit, but it's not as much. And it's like, it literally goes away pretty much. Like, if you look at my hand. In any of my videos, you'll see the difference if I'm shaking or not. So, yeah, just, I guess I'm thankful today for my medication. <laughs> see, all you could do whenever you have bad things, all you could really do is just learn to live with it and joke about it. Like I was saying before, at the dentist, because... The top ones are all fake, except for three of them, and then all my bottom ones are all baby teeth. But the top ones, there's only three, so when she did the bottom teeth for the cleaning, and then she did the top, she, I was like, 
don't worry, that's not going to take long. There's only three. <laughs> and then she started laughing her head off. And she's like, well, I'm surprised you're just laughing about it. I'm like, that's all you could really do is just laugh at what you have and make the best of it and learn to live around it. And yeah, so finally I stopped shaking. So I'm going to get ready for bed before... I passed out from the medication, so like, comment, share, subscribe. I'm a daily vlogger. Now you see my shaking condition. You're on Phantom Stories. Welcome to my haunted world. Excellent, so OG. Ah, for ghosts.